and welcome to my channel and this week's yoga is all going to be about heart opening poses so in England like many other places we have just gone into another lockdown and I want to use this class in particular to open the heart allow in compassion consideration and love so that we're not all too hard on ourselves and allow that anxiety and stress to creep back in so everything we're going to be doing is so slow paced thought provoking and the most important thing is be kind to yourself so we're going to get started in our usual way if you need a block underneath the seat to lift your hips up feel free to use one or you can use a pillow or a blanket we're going to close the eyes hands on the knees and take three deep grounding breaths as you breathe in, I want you to inflate the whole body. And as you breathe out, squeeze the belly button in, forcing the air back out. Breathe in. And squeeze all the air out. Breathe in and out. Good. Open the eyes, breathing in, bring the arms up, and really stretch towards the sky. And as you breathe out, we'll bring the right hand to the mat, left arm comes over. We're really going to try and spiral the heart towards the ceiling today. As I said, we're all about opening up that heart. Taking a deep breath. And coming back to centre. Breathe in, reach up high. As you breathe out, left hand comes to the mat, right arm over the top. Again, spiraling that heart towards the ceiling. Deep breath here. And back to center. Breathe in, stretch tall. Breathe out, fold forwards. Bring the hands to the mat, release the head. Take two deep breaths here. and then walk yourself back up to seated we're going to come on to all fours and we're going to do three rounds of cat cow but we're going to do it with a bit of a difference to really again open the heart so we're going to add in some movement so making sure hips are over knees and shoulders are over wrists as you breathe in you're really going to pull the shoulder blades together opening that chest you're going to tuck the toes under and almost push yourself forwards as you breathe in you're going to arch the back stretch the shoulders tuck the chin to the chest breathe in bring those toes back under shoulder blades together opening that heart pushing forwards Breathing out, closing it back off. Round in the back, chin to the chest. Last time, breathe in, tuck toes under, opening the heart, pushing it forwards. Breathing out, closing it back off, rounding the back, tuck the chin to the chest. Come to a neutral flat back, tuck the toes under, pushing the hips up and back for the first down dog. You can add in a pedal to the feet. You can move the hips side to side. We're going to take a couple of deep breaths here. And then on your next out breath, you're just going to walk feet 
to hands. Take a deep breath in, come all the way up. Bring the hands to prayer and breathe out as you bring them to prayer at heart centre. Good. We're going to go into a sun salutation now. Keep it nice and slow and steady. Breathe in, arms come up. As you breathe out, we're going down to the toes. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat and just step it back to plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, either jump it or walk it forwards. Breathe in for half lift. As you breathe out, we're going to take ragdoll pose to stretch out the back, lower back and the back of the legs. So we're taking hold of the elbows. Rest, relaxing the head. You can add in a side to side movement. Or just hang gently. Release the hands to the floor. Big breath in, come all the way up. As you breathe out, bring the hands to heart centre. We're going to do a second sal sun salutation now, but we're going to keep it slow. Breathe in, arms up. As you breathe out, we're going to drop it down to our chair pose. Take a deep breath in here. And then as you breathe out, just drop it forwards for forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat and just step it or jump it back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. Breathe in here. We're going to take the right leg towards the ceiling, bend the knee, stack the hips, and as you breathe out, we're going to take the foot between the hands, bring the left knee down, get your balance, and we're going to come up to a low lunge. First of all, we're going to add in a gentle back bend, whatever's comfortable for you, just opening the heart towards the sky. We're then going to cactus out the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening that heart and chest further. Take a deep breath here. Breathe in, arms come up. Breathe out, hands frame the foot. Tuck the toes under, step it back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor, chaturanga, up dog or cobra as you breathe in. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. Good, breathe in here. And then we're going to take the left leg towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, stack the hips, breathing out. We're going to take the foot between the hands, bringing that right knee down this time. Getting yourself balanced. And then come arms back round and up for low lunge on the second side. So again, we're adding in a gentle back bend, looking up, opening that heart. Breathing out, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together, oh, cactus out the arms. Take a deep breath here, really opening up that heart. Breathe in, arms come up. Breathe out, hands frame the foot. Pop the toes up at the back, stepping back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under at the back, up and back, down dog. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either jump it or walk it forwards. 
breathe in, arms come up and round, tucking the tail under, pulling the belly button in for chair. Deep breath here. Next in breath, standing it tall, reaching to the sky, breathing out, hands come together and to heart centre for prayer. Good. We're going to go into our heart opening flow now. So keeping it slow, arms come up as you breathe in, as you breathe out to go down to the toes. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. And as you breathe out, you'll bring the hands to the mat and step it back to plank. You're going to breathe in here and then we're going to hold. So you're going to continue to breathe gently and carefully. But we're going to hold the plank for three, two, one. Release all the way to the floor. Good. We're now going to take the feet wide on the mat at the back. We're going to bring the hands wide off the front of the mat and a bit wider of the mat and up on the fingertips. And then from here, we're going to do cobra curls to open the chest. So as you breathe in, you're going to use your fingers, push yourself super duper high as you can go, pulling the shoulder blades back, lifting the head, as you breathe out, roll back down gently. Breathe in, roll up. Head is the last thing to come up. Really open that chest and then roll back down. Good. And again, rolling up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, lifting the head and then roll back down as you breathe out. Breathe in, roll up. Lifting the head last, breathe out, roll down. Last time, breathe in, roll up. We're going to hold. And breathe out, roll down. Good. We're going to bring the hands by the rib cage. We're going to keep the knees on the floor. And we're just going to lift up and back. We'll do a gentle child's pose for three deep breaths. So we've got the knees wide, not quite as wide as the mat, but fairly wide. You're really trying to breathe into the back, stretching everything back out, relaxing and closing off the heart temporarily. And then gently walking yourself up to come to a kneeling position. So for our next section, we're going to be working with the camel pose. So we're just going to start by gently getting everything opened up. So bring the hands by the sides. As you breathe in, you're going to bring the arms all the way up, lift the hips, push the hips forwards and let yourself back bend. And then as you breathe out, you're going to come back down. Good. Do that a couple more times. Breathe in, coming all the way up, leaning back, breathing out, coming down. So you want to make sure with this that there's a little bit of gap between knees and feet. Breathe in, opening up, leaning back, breathing out, coming down. We're going to go into a half camel. We'll go to the right first. So as you breathe in and come up, you're going to come all the way. The right arm is going to come down to the foot. Now, if you can't reach your foot, come up onto the toes and then lean on the heel. And you're just then going to push through the foot, reaching the left arm as far as you can. So you're in a heart opening twist. We're going to stay here for three deep breaths. Really keeping the hips pushed forwards, chest lifted. You can have the head in any direction. As we're going for heart opening, it might feel more comfortable with it looking up or even closing the eyes. One more deep breath. Good. 
good. And just gently bringing yourself back over. This time we're going to come all the way through with the hands, dropping the head for a child's pose. Good, so we're quite narrow in this one. Just a couple of deep breaths. And then bring yourself back to seated. And we'll repeat the same on the other side. So as you breathe in, we're coming all the way up. Start to lean back. This time, left arm goes back again if you need to. Come up onto the toes. Coming back onto that heel. Pushing the hips forward, opening the chest. Right arm comes over the top. Tilting the head up. Again, you can close the eyes if it feels good. And three deep breaths. Bring yourself back down now. Coming all the way down back to that child's pose. Two deep breaths. Hands by the sides instead of out in front. And then coming back to a seated position. Good. From here, we're just going to come to a comfortable seated position. We've done a lot of heart opening. We're just going to do one final closer before we go into our savasana. So we're just going to take a deep breath, arms come up, flex to both feet, legs out long, and just fold forwards for a forward fold. Now if you need to, you can have a block underneath you or something underneath the knees. You can have the knees slightly bent. Just wherever you can go to, just take three deep breaths here. We're really trying to pull the shoulders wide on this one, closing the heart back off. Don't want it to be permanently open. It's a counter pose. And then just walk yourself back up. Bend the knees, plant the feet. Hands by the sides. And we're going to roll down onto our mat. We're just going to go straight into the Savasana today. So we're just going to take one leg long and then the other. If you need pillows or blankets or anything, bring them in now. Bring in the hands and arms by the sides, palms facing up. Close the eyes and slow down the breathing. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your toes and your feet. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your legs and your knees. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your hips, your stomach and your back. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your fingers and your hands. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your arms and your elbows. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On 
on your next in breath take your attention to your chest and your shoulders and as you breathe out let all the tension melt away on your next in breath take your attention to your neck your face and head and as you breathe out let all the tension melt away you're going to lie here relaxed on the mat just letting go of any negativity or any more tension let's let it leave through the crown of the head so that you can melt into your mat breathing deeply and completely relaxed We're going to start to wake the body up now just by giving the fingers on the toes a bit of a wiggle. We're going to move the feet together and then take the hands and the arms up over the top of the head and really stretch all the way from the fingers to the toes. As you feel ready, we're going to roll onto our right side. You can use your arm as a pillow. And we'll take two more deep breaths here. Begin to push yourself to a comfortable seated position. If you need a block or blanket underneath the seat, grab it now. With the eyes closed, we're going to bring the hands at heart centre in prayer. We're going to take three final deep breaths to lock in our practice. go drop the hands in the lap the chin to the chest open the eyes and we're all done i hope you enjoyed that and i hope to see you again next week and just remember be kind to you yourself and others namaste